Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with your weekend update, your early weekend update. If you're getting up and joining us or just maybe getting back in from a night of having fun out and about in the Mid-South area, going to be, again, pretty soggy for starting things off early Saturday morning. If you are traveling this morning into this afternoon, you're going to have some wet roadways to worry about, and you're also going to be seeing, again, the possibility of some fairly cold conditions back to our north. We do have, again, some spotty snow showers up into portions of southeastern Missouri. We have no winter weather expected for the Mid-South, so good news on that. But we have plenty of rainfall to talk about. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll take a look at the forecast into the rest of the weekend, which does again include some rain, not entirely a washout for the weekend, but more chances of rain kind of off and on into the next 24 to 48 hours. Now next week, we see the possibility of some thunderstorms. We'll talk about that coming up as well, and some of your pictures out there. Plus, updated Skywarn meetings are coming up. We'll show you more about the where and the when in just a little bit, so stick around for that. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in for this morning. Drop your location and your weather reports. Rain gauge amounts would be really cool if you've got those out there. Temperature gauges, put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to good use. We'll show you some of our weather net temperatures here in just a little bit. You can get all this information about our forecast and more at this website, wreg.com slash weather. And if you can't stick around for everything thing of what I'm going to show you. Take a look at the forecast in the blue bar in the lower portion of your screen right down there and you can see again more about what's going on with the forecast as it scrolls on by. So thanks to everybody else for sticking around for this morning. Let's go ahead and get started and show you more about what's happening. Our forecast in a nutshell Again, available down here or right here. A fairly chilly day coming up back in the upper 40s to right about the lower 50s, just below normal for this time of the year. And drizzle should be kind of knocking off a little bit as we get into around dinner time tonight. But that's going to be about the end of the day. Less chances of rain overnight. Could be some more patchy fog into tomorrow morning. Stay tuned. We'll update you on that if there are any advisories issued. So we'll have more details on that late tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. So stick around for more there. More chances of drizzle more than anything else. We're not getting, again, huge amounts of rainfall. At least we're not getting any snow. Mount Washington, New Hampshire, looking at a snow-covered observation deck. Some of the worst weather in the United States happens right here. Winds of 200 miles per hour plus, incredible amounts of freezing rain. Really incredible to see the weather here. And you can find out more about this by going to MWOBS on Twitter if you'd like to see more about that. Our nation's capital, a few clouds, a little bit of blue skies overhead, the monuments and looking back toward the nation's capital across the Potomac River from the National Park Service's webcams, and there's hundreds of webcams across the United States. If you'd like to see more of these on Twitter, follow the hashtag FindYourPark or opt, O-P-T, opt outside as a hashtag, and you can see more great webcams and even some photography from people visiting the state parks or the national parks, so you get a pretty good view as to what it looks like into and around that area for there. Tyrell McMahon, Blytheville, heavy rain, 54 hundredths of an inch. Thank you very much uh, for that report from that area. Thank you very much for everybody else uh, for checking in. Uh, for this morning, Janet Jackson, uh, the highway to on the highway to Youngstown, Ohio. Thanks for checking in uh, for that one. Nilda Alvarado, hope I'm saying that right, from Canterbury, Connecticut. Thanks for joining us. Bells, Tennessee. Lisa Williams, thank you and good morning for tuning in uh, at this time. Jackie Doyle Croson, not quite with spring yet. Got about a month or so to go. I got to haul the spring countdown clock out of there, but uh, good thought though. We're getting closer and closer to that. Jerry Draper from Batesville, Mississippi, and welcome to everybody else tuning in again from this morning. From what it looks like, soggy view of Rhodes College in Memphis from the Weather Underground camera network, showing some wet rooftops up there and some rain on the camera lens. You can get this information at wunderground.com if you'd like to see more there. From our camera in Germantown, rain on the the camera lens. Looking back toward Poplar Pike and Germantown Road, the water towers just north of Germantown High School, kind of obscured by the rain and fog. Definitely not seeing any frozen precipitation out there. Lower 40s and winds a little breezy, so we do have a little bit of a wind chill uh, in tune around the area for this morning as well. Gentlemen from Thailand, thank you for uh, tuning back in. I still can't pronounce your name, so I'll just have to say hi and thanks for joining us from the other side of the planet. Trimble, Tennessee, Rena David Sanderson, welcome to the show. 
show. Horn Lake, Elise Bennett Fox, thanks a lot for tuning in. Rain and Clouds, thanks for the weather report from Sharon Crowell in Gosnell, Arkansas. Thank you very much on that one. View from West Memphis, Arkansas. I-40, I-55, right about in there. Usually Memphis, Tennessee, skyline right through here, but too much rain, too much fog is showing up at this time, so kind of difficult to see anything for here. A little bit cooler than Germantown back in the lower 40s. Winds out of the southeast at about 7 miles per hour, so a bit of a wind chill here. And finally, a look at downtown Memphis from our Cotton Exchange camera. Drizzly, wet view of Riverside Drive, Tom Lee Park, Mississippi River, and you can just barely see Big River Crossing and the Bridge Trio over the Mississippi River at this time. Likewise, traffic at this point, slow, and that's a very good thing considering the amount of rain fall out there. The faster you go, the more rain can work its way underneath your tire surface, and that can cause a effect called hydroplaning. If you go too fast, in weather like this, it's just like driving on ice, and I saw no less than about maybe three accidents on the way into work this morning on I-240, so this is something to think about. Definitely want to slow it down. You can see, again, the spray being kicked up by the vehicles here, and the visibility is also not great, so definitely morning to make certain you are watching down the roadway as much as you possibly can, so definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Rain showers covering Shelby County and the Memphis metro area. We're just not seeing much of anything taking place here where it comes to heavy amounts of rain, but enough to give a good saturating amount of showers out across much of the area. Now, northern Mississippi, more scattered light activity, but from Alabama to the Mississippi River, plenty of rainfall for the northern third of Mississippi. Southeast Arkansas, south of I-40, scattered light showers, and that's about the, as much as we have. Meanwhile, let me pan this up or our tracking system's having problems here. Storm Tracker 3S, north of I-40, the heaviest activity here. Now, this looks pretty ominous. Again, red does not mean severe weather on radar. These colors just indicate the strength of the echoes coming back to the radar site. So here is where the heaviest rainfall is coming down. More than likely, it's a good possibility that what you're seeing here this strong echo showing up is several thousand feet up. It's more than likely possible that all the precipitation down toward the ground is rain. Way up here is probably snow and sleet. So all that hard precipitation is actually that solid precipitation is showing back to the radar site as very heavy rainfall. Now down toward the surface, again, it's too warm. All you're getting is just plain rainfall. But more than likely, this is what we're seeing for here right now. Now into around areas north of the Arkansas-Missouri uh, Arkansas state line, we do have, again, some rain mixed with snow and sleet from around areas of St. Louis all the way down to Rolla, back into around portions of Koshkanong, Mammoth Springs, Sault Ste. Marie, into around the area, just uh, into around portions of uh, Cape Girardeau, I want to say. That's where we're seeing some possible problems with driving up this area. A lot colder, so it could be some slick spots there. Now, none of that is making its way into the Mid-South, but a good portion of this right here is a good possibility that it's frozen several thousand feet up, but then melting as it drops, so there's really just not that much going on out there. Tina Marie, Sunshine in Memphis, we'll throw that in as a request at this point in time, so not much of anything to see in the way of sunshine for right now. Hawkins Francine, welcome from West Helena. Thank you very much. Sherry and Eddie Howard, good morning from South Haven. Thank you very much for tuning in. Rainy morning from Forest City, Arkansas. Melissa Buford, thank you for checking on through. And as of right now, nothing in the way of snow showers out there for Pam, uh, who's been asking for that from what it looks like for right now. So thank you very much uh, for that request at this point in time. So thank you very much on that. Uh, Sash Sasha and Madison, some of our roads are shut down because of flooding. Uh, I'm looking for a location for theirs. I uh, don't see one at this point in time. So I can't really tell you exactly how much more rain you're going to be expecting in your location, Sasha and Madison. If you have a location, we'll see what we can do about uh, throwing that in for for the time being. Rest of the day, again, temperatures on the chilly side for the time being. This is what we're seeing in the way of fairly chilly conditions out there. Pam Dye, strong northerly winds. Best we can do for right now is southwesterly winds. Sorry about that, but that's all we've got for the time being. Heaviest rainfall is in the boot heel of Missouri. 
fractions of an inch elsewhere across much of the Mid-South area. So we're going to see wet conditions, but not exactly flooding out there. Lots of rainfall possible over the next several days. So stay tuned. We'll keep you updated on that. We'll have more details on that forecast here in just a little bit. Nicholas Jerome Kirkpatrick, hope I'm saying that right. Heavy rain in Halls, Tennessee. Thank you very much. Laura Hallstrom from Olive Branch. More rain from Jack Boy Jackson. Well, we'll do what we can about that. Clouds and fog in Ocoee, Florida. Sherry and Eddie Howard, thank you very much uh, for checking in from down around the Sunshine State. All right, let's run the numbers for the Mid-South area and show you what we've got going on. West Tennessee, North Mississippi, Eastern Arkansas, the Missouri Boot Heel right here. And temperatures again throughout the rest of the morning, decently chilly, upper 30s to lower 40s. By this afternoon, into around Dyersburg through about Jonesboro, we start to see some clearing skies coming on through, at least where it comes to rainfall. Not too sure we're going to have a total clear clearing sky, but at least we'll get rid of some of the rain as we go through about dinner time tonight. News Channel 3 at 10, just past midnight. Most of the Mid-South should be rain-free, and we should be staying that way into around daybreak tomorrow morning. Chances of rain return to the Mid-South as we go toward late Sunday afternoon. Stick around off and on through News Channel 3 at 10 Sunday night, and then more chances of rain start to pop back into the forecast as we go toward Monday. So if you do not have Monday morning off uh, for the holiday coming up, you're going to have more chances of showers out there. May want to allow for a little bit of extra time and definitely want to tune in for Corey Ventura and time saver traffic on daybreak Monday just to make certain you're ready to go for all that. Chances of rain mainly for the rest of the day ending as we go throughout the evening hours. Coming back again as we get into around that should be a p.m. right there instead of an a.m. Showers across the area Sunday evening and much warmer tomorrow. Winds out of the southwest bumping those numbers up into and around the area back in the lower 60s. Mid-70s as we head toward the holiday on Monday. Showers possible throughout the day. Still not seeing anything in the way of really strong weather coming up at this point, so pretty quiet out there. Cloudy and wet in Hornsby, Tennessee. Shanna Fry, thank you very much. Rain in Trenton, Tennessee. Anita K. Scott Callis, thank you very much for checking in. And thanks to everybody else for checking in for this morning. Drowning in Covington, no more rain. Lisa Estes McDaniel, thank you very much. Now, into around Tuesday, even warmer conditions. If we get any stronger southerly winds ahead of this next system, we could be seeing some temperatures pushing 80 degrees in parts of the Mid-South, mainly south of the metro area. But again, this is still several days away, so a lot could change between here and there. Now, Tuesday night into around Wednesday, this is where we see our next round of thunderstorms coming through. Right now, according to the Storm Prediction Center, we do not see anything in the way of severe weather. So good news with that. But again, at this time of the year, anything between January and late April, we really need to watch and see what goes on with the potential of any severe weather. So we'll keep you updated on that throughout the course of the next few days. Cooling off as we go toward Thursday, lower 50s. This is almost spot on normal for this time of the year. So it is going to be a lot cooler. Bouncing back into the 60s by Friday and the blue bars down here, again, showing the possibility of precipitation, the chances out there, coverage chances, does not look, again, like total washout territory, but we do see chances of rain every single day all the way throughout the course of the next several days. So we're more than making up for that deficit that we had back in November and December. Very dry conditions back there, wildfire danger. Not seeing that at this point in time with all that chances of rainfall out there. Back into the 70s for the last Sunday of February in 2018, and then cooling off again by next Monday. So temperatures fluctuating by a lot, with temperatures pushing way above normal by Tuesday, back in the 70s once again. So hope you enjoy the difference in the temperatures out there. If you like the cool weather, we've got that out there. If you like the warmer weather, we've got that. So everybody getting a chance at some rainfall out there. But so far, again, no severe weather. And according to what we're seeing here, not looking at any winter weather anytime soon either. So pretty quiet on that. All right, taking a little bit of a view from outside the News Channel 3 studios and over to everybody else out there who is sending in pictures. Thank you very much to Louis Haskett from North East Arkansas, a nice sunrise view from up and around that area, one of our frequent contributors up and around that direction. Also, Mr. James R. Gulledge from Humboldt, Tennessee, very nice, beautiful afternoon early during the week. 
from around the humble Tennessee area. And thank you very much, Mr. Gulledge, for that. And also a beautiful view, not quite in the Mid-South, but beautiful sunset nonetheless from Pauley's Island, South Carolina. Never been there before, but thanks to Memphis underscore Tom for sending along those pictures out there. If you've got pictures of weather across the Mid-South, sunrise, sunset, thunderstorms, rainfall, fog, whatever you've got. If you've got it out there, I want to see it so I can post them online and then also show them on our newscast. So if you have pictures, please send them in. We don't get hardly a lot of them, so we could definitely have enough room to talk about them. So if you have them, please send them to me. Tweet them to me at aonic underscore WREG3, Austinonic WREG, my main Facebook page for weather with its station, and aonic no underscore necessary WREG3 on Instagram. Great to have you along and would love to show off your photographic work out there. So thank you very much to everybody for sending in your pictures and please let me know about if you have any more of those. We'll be glad to feature them, but we can't show them if you don't send them. So something to think about. Coming up over the next few weeks, and this is new and updated information from the National Weather Service, Skywarn is a volunteer group. They work with the National Weather Service to report back what they see and hopefully help other people in the paths of the storms that they are watching get to safety a little bit sooner. Now, if you would like to do stuff like this, it would be a great opportunity to do so. And all you have to do is show up and take one of these meetings. These are the next four coming up. There will be one for Memphis and Shelby County. We'll tell you about that when this makes its way onto the list. But if you'd like to know more about these meetings, they're going to be taught, again, totally free, paid for by your tax dollars and my tax dollars. One of the best ways that our tax dollars have ever been spent, in my not-so-humble opinion. And again, this is your opportunity opportunity to learn more about how to protect yourself and what to do during severe weather. So if you'd like to know more about this, head to wreg.com slash weather. For more information, just scroll down below the forecast and you get more details here. Just updated that this morning. And again, all you have to do is show up and take the course. They usually last about an hour, hour and a half, depends on how many questions get asked. And asking questions is a very good thing to determine, again, if you don't know something, you need to ask about it. Meteorologists, from the National Weather Service teach these courses. So if you'd like to know more about this, head online, find out more, or just email me and let me know more information about what you'd like to know about. Please consider taking the course because the more people we have trained out there for severe weather who can see something going on and then use this handy dandy little device to report it back to the National Weather Service, or if you're an amateur radio operator, you can also do the same thing by sending that along via the radio waves. Great opportunity to help protect your community. Please consider taking this course and becoming a spotter the more spotters we have, the better we are all protected. That's just the basic bottom line on this. So something to think about. If you have any questions, again, feel free to email me. I'd be glad to answer whatever questions I can. If you can't stay tuned on air for the TV all weekend long and you're away from the computer, dial us up on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. I'll have your forecast there. Also, I'll be back with Bob and Josh live on Monday morning at 8 o'clock with Talk Back Live. If you can't reach them, again, via the radio signal in the Mid-South, dial them up online, talkbacklivenetwork.org, or follow them on Twitter, at Talkback Live, and you can find out a lot more information there. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Going to have a lot more information coming up later on tonight. We'll talk more about any pictures that you send in. If you got them, please send them again, and we'll also take a look and see if we have anything in the way of stronger weather coming up later on this week. So far, it doesn't look that way, but this is the time of year to make certain you stay up to date with what's going on. Thanks to everybody else for checking in for this morning from across the Mid-South and points beyond. And thanks to everybody for the weather reports, especially. Thank you very much uh, for playing along on that one for right now. We'll have more details again tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10. And, of course, tons of information available right here at WRG.com slash weather, including our seven-day forecast if you'd like to see more about that. Stick around for more with News Channel 3 live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Stick around for more throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online.